see things your way. Please know that I'm equally frustrated because you demand boundaries of respect for your own worldview while continuing to intrude and interfere uninvited into mine. This brings us to a critical moment where I must say some difficult things and draw a very clear line in the sand. If you continue to misrepresent the theory of evolution by using the word theory in an intellectually dishonest way, we have nothing more to talk about. If you dismiss the evidence of evolution by natural selection observable in our world and in our own DNA, and you instead believe that our true origins involve a lonely floating being in outer space and a naked man and woman in a sacred garden, with an enchanted tree and a talking snake. We have nothing more to talk about. If you believe it makes sense that God would send a moral, trustworthy, honest, loving, hardworking, charitable, non-believer to eternal torture in hell, yet would allow a serial killer to enter heaven after a deathbed conversion, we have nothing more to talk about. If you believe human beings could live to be almost a thousand years old in the Bronze Age, we have nothing more to talk about. If you believe that a church, God's house, should ever need to buy an insurance policy against disaster, we have nothing more to talk about. If you'd pay a $2,000 insurance deductible toward an invasive surgical procedure performed by trained doctors, recover over a period of weeks with prescription medications invented by scientists, and then thank God for his divine healing, we have nothing more to talk about. If you believe it's moral and righteous to thrust the tip of a sword into the beating heart of a baby, if you think it's reasonable that an all-powerful, loving God would not prevent 300,000 men, women, teenagers, and infants from drowning in a tsunami because he works in mysterious ways. If you believe that any loving God would allow a child to die of cancer in the arms of his grieving parents, we have nothing more to talk about. If you believe in giants, supermen, unicorns, flying chariots of fire, the undead, leviathons, healing mud, talking animals, and the biblical account of a man who spent three days underwater living in the belly of a giant fish. We have nothing more to talk about. Finally, at the end of the day, please know that I do love you. But after all these unbelievable stories have been brought to light, if you still believe the burden of proof is on me, that my position is the unreasonable one, the fantastic one, the laughable one, and if you cannot and will not treat me, my private life, my choices, my personal boundaries, and my worldview with the respect I've so often asked for, we have nothing more to talk about.